Hello, my name is Kelly Anderson and I live in San Antonio, Texas and I would like to teach high school chemistry. Um, working on my disposition video, I will answer the first question. What does a professional educator look like and how should they behave? Um, I think that a professional educator should dress very uh, modest, um, as a female especially in the secondary education. I think that we should behave professional by doing so. We should use appropriate language, make eye contact, and really set an example for our students, be a mentor and a leader. Um, I wouldn't take anyone else seriously if they were dressed in blue jeans and had holes in their shirt and looked scrubby. I would not be able to take them seriously. So as an educator, we want our students to take us seriously. Therefore, we should dress appropriately. On to the second question. What dispositions do you possess that you think will make you a successful teacher? The first disposition that I possess that I think will make me a successful educator is educators should believe that all students can learn and should set and support realistic expectations for student success. Um, I hold this one. This is my favorite one. Um, I really think that I'll do a good job with this. Um, I'm not a teacher yet, so I don't have that classroom experience. But I was a student, and I think it's super important that we were all given the same real, like every student has the ability to reach their potential. Therefore, giving, you know, realistic expectations and teachers helping students reach that success is super important. I know I struggled with some standardized testing. I moved a lot, and it was really hard for me, and there was one teacher who really noticed that I was struggling with something, and he went and I ended up being in the math decathlon with him, and I ended up taking all AP classes, and he really set realistic expectations, and when I could reach them and hit successful goals, I only made bigger goals, and since I'm so competitive, I only wanted to reach them. So I hope to kind of implement that into my students one day, too. The second disposition that I chose was educators should recognize that reflection combined with experience leads to growth as a professional. Um, I think that this is pretty important. Um, even at Grand Canyon, at the end of this program, we have to go work into a classroom as a student teacher. And I don't think that we would have to go work in this classroom if you didn't think that we needed that experience. So that being said, with experience, you're going to learn more. And the more you learn, the probably the better at your profession you're going to be. Therefore, implementing that into my classroom with my students and giving them some experience and teaching them that experience can help you engage and learn more information is super important to me. I also believe that educators should promote and support curiosity and encourage active inquiry. Um, I'm very athletic. I played uh, sports my whole entire life, played um, collegiate soccer. And so being active alone is very important to me. I think it's important to instill that into my students. Um, promoting and supporting curiosity is 100% something I'm very passionate about. If someone is curious about something, then don't shoot it down. Like, keep creativity alive in the classroom, especially if my students come to me. I'm going to do everything. I will research. I will do anything to make them feel that I'm curious about it too and let's work on it together. Or, hey, that's not part of this lesson today, but see me after class. Or, you know what, that's such an interesting point. I want to bring that into my next lesson. So we'll work on that next class. So just engaging and keeping and supporting that curiosity and the creativity is super important to me. And that is something that probably my favorite one that I think that I'll definitely be good at when I'm teaching. Some dispositions that I know I will need to work on is educators should be sensitive to individual learning and social needs of students and embrace the cultural diversity of the community. Um, since I am so competitive, and I need to learn how to be more sensitive, even with everyone um, in my life. So that's just something not only just for the classroom that I'll need to learn to get better at, but um, just the sensitive. I'm so used to, like, I was raised military. My, my husband's military, and... I'm competitive sports my whole life. It's, hey, this is this, and that's why. Don't ask questions. And as an educator, I can't do that. I want to encourage questions, and I want students to learn that, hey, yeah, I might have did this wrong, but I'm not getting punished for it instead of learning why. So definitely being a little bit more sensitive, especially in the cultural diversity um, with our society today, I mean, it's a, that's a huge deal. So I'll definitely need to research and learn a little bit more about that. 
And another thing that I think works kind of hand in hand is educators should demonstrate professional friendliness, warmth, and genuine caring in their relationships with others. Um, being professional won't be an issue for me, but the warmth, just being w warmer, um, understanding where my students are coming from and being that support is very important. And so that's something that I'm going to have to work on too, just because, again, I have such a competitive nature. Um, but that's all I have for today. Those are the dispositions that I possess and that I think that I'll need to work on. And I will see you in the forum. Thank you.